Well, hello again. I'm back in my local forest, Delamere. But this time, instead of coming to the usual spots I frequent, I'm looking for something different. I'm going to be doing a bit of a recce this morning, and it's quite a nice morning. The sun has just come up, and there's a little bit of light cloud, and I'm travelling quite light. So I'm going to try and find some new spots, and possibly shoot a few images while I'm at it. Well, this scene looks instantly promising, so uh, I'm going to break out the cameras. I'm actually shooting quite simply today. I'm using uh, just 35mm film with a couple of very cheap Nikons. I think the most expensive was £20. Uh, a bit of colour film, and if the light gets brighter, I'm going to use a bit of rolly infrared. I'm quite liking this location, Doolittle Moss. Um, I've been here before, but the problem is it's right by one of the main car parks. So by about nine, ten o'clock in the morning, it's absolutely heaving. Um, best get out early. It's about what half six now. So uh, yeah, got it to myself at the moment, which is the way I like it. What a wonderful set of weathered old logs. I think I've shot them before a few years ago. Uh, certainly something around here similar to this. But I'm going to have another crack now. Um, film I've got will suit this particularly well. It's Kodak Portra 400, which is a very, very soft negative film. And it's going to be able to preserve all that shadow detail and subtlety of colour. Uh, it's probably worth mentioning a little bit more about my camera for today. This is a, a Nikon F80, uh, an N80 in a, the United States. Um, it cost me, I think, £20 off eBay. Very simple, late generation film camera, autofocus. And I'm using it with a Tamron 28 to 200 millimeter lens, a bit of an all-in-one outfit. Uh, I had one of these years ago and I found it a superb, simple camera, yet produces very good results. And I'm shooting it with colour negative film today to preserve all the details in the forest. I think the subtlety of colour negative works very well here. You know, I'm enjoying this little bit of a recce today because I've decided obviously to try something new and new is always good. I can get uh, a bit set in my ways shooting the same old things and there's a lot more to be seen just by exploring, coming out with a lighter camera just taking chances. So that's what I'm doing today and I'll be doing it a bit more in the coming weeks hopefully. I want to build up a decent repertoire of locations to be shooting when the weather is optimal and when we get to autumn when the forest is at its best. I've spotted some little trees here which were backlit a minute or two ago but uh, inevitably once you set the tripod up the sun goes in. But it'll be out again in a minute, uh, I can wait. And I've got a sort of short telephoto setting on my zoom lens. The idea being that I can sort of compress all those beautiful green leaves into one mass of colour. And for this I'm using Kodak Ektar which is a super saturated negative film, perfect for this time of year. Now while I was actually taking the shot of the, uh, the green leaves, 
I was messing about with the focus and I actually found it looked better out of focus. So I used the manual setting on the lens and I just defocused slightly. I don't think there's going to be anything sharp in there at all, but somehow it conveys the mood a lot better than the other picture. I'll show you both and see what you think. I've lined myself up on uh, some trees. I've got a foreground of very bright green saplings and I have a background of the other trees which are still in shade. Now I'm waiting for the sun to come out because the foreground needs to be brightly lit to give that uh, differentiation between the, the foreground and background trees. So I'm going to have to be patient. The sky has clouded over slightly, but give it a minute or two. I can hang on and I think I'll get a nice shot. Now, staying with the theme of slightly out of focus, I've spotted a group of trees behind me and I'm going to zoom in on them, but I don't intend to get them all sharp. I'm just going to go for one of the tree trunks and then let all the little green leaves just sit there softly out of focus. Should look really nice. Now, the majority of these little mosses, lakes, ponds, ditches, whatever you want to call them in Delamere, don't actually have an official designation. One did earlier, obviously, do little. There's brines, there's gnawly moss, but most of them, sadly, are anonymous. Well, I'm going to give them names of my own. The reason is I'm plotting them in Google Maps. I'm saving all these locations. I'm going to build a, almost like a photographer's guide to Delamere and I'll probably share the maps at some point in the future but for now I'm just thinking up pet names for them this one I've been shooting behind me I'm going to call it long moss because it's quite long and it's quite mossy brilliant Now, whilst out shooting today with the film cameras, I've also been using my iPhone 7 Plus, which has got a fabulous camera in it, panoramic mode, two little lenses I can zoom in. It's going to be better quality than this, but it just leaves you a bit cold using it. It's, it's not really a camera. Images are superb though. I mean, if you want to come out and just take pictures, use your smartphone. I'm personally into it because it's a hobby. I like the cameras, I like playing about with different stuff, but when it's just down to pictures, fantastic. Well, I've sort of doubled back on myself. I'm near one of the small mosses I was at earlier, about two hours ago. The lights changed dramatically. Just look at this behind me now. It's looking really nice, that tree standing out. But I've also got some light on the foreground at last, so I'll break out the camera and shoot this. Well, I'm almost done for the morning. Uh, about three hours, three and a half hours. Just going to shoot some more detailed shots behind me and I'll also put up a few more pictures I've taken while I'm walking around. I do hope you've enjoyed the vlog, there'll be more to come, hopefully a few more in the forest and I'll see you again soon. Thank you.